know, you know, it's crazy. You know, I interview a lot of people, and you, you the only person that admitted, you know, that the truth. I feel like a lot of people went through the same thing, like growing up in school, especially in Megan. Like, you could have been fresh, and you know, you still got it. Like, it just don't matter. Like that, that, that just how, you know, growing up with kids. You know, that's how we was around here, and uh, you know, I think you know just. I, I feel like a lot of people, you know, that's why they got in the fashion, or that's why, you know, they, they it's so, it, it's got to be fresh every day. You know, I don't, I'm not from making either, so like, you know, I, I never really understood that, and I don't care what people think, no way, but like, you know, I, I've noticed that, like, that that's, that's definitely a thing in making, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably won't admit, but, you know, with you men and right there, you know, that, that says a lot. Yeah, man, it's, and you know, I, I would like, I feel like kids were cruel, but they were, ooh, they gave me hell, but I ain't even allowed to you, but like, yeah. <laughs> I used to have the strawberries, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, uh, and you it know, was a thing. it, it was, was a thing, was a man, thing. you know, and it just, it made me really appreciate when I did get those things, like, you know, when I got my fair pair of Jordans, you know, it just, I really valued them, yeah. you know, I got my polo shirt, I really valued those things. Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah. So, talk about like, you know, uh, coming up in school around here, like, you know, how, how did people, you know, look at Craig, you know, uh, as a student? I was like, I feel like I was a nerd, man. I was like, well, you know, until like my real sophomore year, like, I feel like that's when I started, you know, making my own money and buying my own things and, you know, trying to find my own style. So, uh, yeah, like, I would feel like it was me just being a smart kid. I was real low key, never really was popular or anything like that, you know. Uh, just was quiet, you know, anybody could say I was quiet. I never really hung out with folks, you know. I was always to myself. I did have my friends in high school and middle school, but, uh, you know, shout out to Dexter and Rodden. You know, those were my, like, closest friends in high school. And uh, everybody else was cool, but, you know, I met, like, before I actually started having like style and stuff, those guys was like stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, um, like growing up, did you always know that you were gonna be like an entrepreneur, or did you have like other aspirations growing up? Oh yeah, I knew. I knew for a fact. Uh, yeah. When I was in elementary school at Burn, I was selling cheat codes. <laughs> Like, I was literally selling cheat codes. Like, gang cheat codes? Gang cheat codes, right? Okay. So, folks, for like 10 cents a page, man. Okay. You know, that was different, bro. I knew it. I felt it in my heart because uh, I was I was always a little kid that saved money, saved every penny that I had, man. Like, uh, I would be like eight years old with about $75. You know, that's a lot for an eight year old, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just saving money, you know, buying like holding off on things, knowing things I ain't gotta have, you know, being patient. Yeah. And that's one thing that, you know, I really learned as a kid. So where 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 did you get that inspiration, that business in from? Oh my dad. My dad, he he instilled money, like the the training of money and how to use it, how to save it, all that with me. Uh credit, uh, you know, savings accounts, all that, my dad. Okay. Big shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to dad, shout out to dad. Yeah. Um, well, talk about like, you know, uh, you know, going through high school and that transition to where you uh, were talking about uh, going to Metro. And yeah, uh, I actually like when, when we graduated high school, I literally didn't know what college I was going to go to, man. Because like, you know, I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to afford it, you know, and I know I didn't want to have my parents, you know, take out no loan just to put me through school and I ain't want to take out no loan because I knew I wasn't going to pay it back. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I really had to think down and be realistic at the high school, man, because uh, I was working at a retirement home, like Carlisle Place, mm -hmm. you know, and that's when I was like, okay, I really got to make something of myself because, you know, I can't really rely on school. You know, I knew, like, ideally, I wanted to get a degree because at first, uh, the real dream that I did have was to be a knee surgeon. And then I talked to my dad about it. He was like, 
you know, you're gonna go to school that long, who's gonna pay for it? And that's when I got real, like, I'm glad my dad kept it real with me. He was like, you know, who's gonna pay for that? Yeah. And, you know, I was like, man, I gotta, and that's when the entrepreneurial stuff like really started kicking in because, you know, I, I really started to see like, okay, how can I make money? How can I save money? So before I even started my actual job, I was, at, uh, I started restoring sneakers and designing shoes and stuff like that. And then flipping shoes when I did buy them, you know, that's when I was like, okay, I would save the money that I got from my grades and stuff. I got good grades or something and, you know, I'll put it back into something that could probably flip into some extra bread. So, uh, yeah, I started out with uh, the restoring sneakers because uh, I would buy people old shoes or I'd probably get hand-me-downs from my friends. And, you know, shout out to Devontae, uh, Devontae Smith. He sold me his uh, Aqua 8s and they was beat up. He told me he was working out in the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he had so many shoes, bro. He was like, bro, I sent them to you for like 15. And I was like, bet, that's when the collection started and I started getting into sneakers. And like, you know, I sell my old pairs. Uh, he sold me a pair of like, Cherry 13s. And it went on from there. And I just started like restoring more shoes and I saved up that money to buy extra shoes. So yeah, and then flip those. Okay, so you were doing that while you was in high school and college? Uh, high school. Okay. Yeah, okay. man. That started like my, well, I'll say the early part of my junior year, I would say, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So talk about like, you know, really, what was the first time, you know, with artists, I don't know, I'm going to ask them, you know, when was your first memory of music? What was your first musical memory? It could be as a child or with your parents and everything. So what, what was the first thing for you? that you notice, like, you know, besides getting roasted in, in school and stuff like that, that, you know, like, this is fashion, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, That's when I, like, 2008, you know, when, uh, when I was listening to 808 and Heartbreak by uh, Kanye West, bro, and, you know, listening to him talk about, like, just clothes and, like, going to Paris and stuff, I'm like, I was like, man, then I started really studying his style, you know, this man was wearing like all this designer stuff, but he was wearing stuff that people was like, man, he weird. What he, what is he wearing? Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, wow, that's, he being himself. He ain't really following no trends. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's, that's something I would want to aspire to be. Like somebody that create trends. Not even create trends, but just like create a own style. Yeah. Like be authentic. Yeah. You know, so I learned that from him. And uh, I mean, as a kid, I would listen to like music with my dad. But my brother, he really put me on to so many genres of music. Mm -hmm. uh, big shout out to him. Like when it came to Jimi Hendrix, Tom York, you know, Radiohead, stuff like that. And, you know, finding that they wore different things. And I was like, okay, like, it's so much out there to learn rather than what I already know. Mm 